lawyers. I teach uh, management uh, 201 business statistics, uh, which is a gen ed course, and I've been using some I2A concepts uh, for the last two years, the last two times I've taught it. And one of them is the Elements of Thought poster, which we've had up in the business school uh, starting the summer of 2011. One of the assignments I uh, use the poster for is I have students look at the poster. I actually post a PDF of the poster on Blackboard and then ask them to discuss the concept of hypothesis testing going through the uh, questions on the poster. And I don't require them to use all the questions. I say use whichever ones you think are applicable and discussing the concept of a hypothesis test. And um, I've been pretty happy uh, with the results. Uh, Gerald Nosich told us this summer at the I2A Institute that the three parts of teaching are to present something, have students engage with it, and then assess it. And what I think this is very helpful for is having students engage with the material. So he said it's not too important whether you present it or how you present it, but getting them to engage with the material is important. And I think the poster, the elements of thought, really forces them to think through rather than just plugging uh, uh, numbers into an equation or a test statistic formula. It really gets them to think through what a hypothesis test involves. So show us how to do it. Give us, give it, walk us through an example, and and put your hands up on the poster. Because right now all I've really got is the poster and you talking. Okay. So, so put your hands up and show us their steps. Okay. So I I have some purpose. I and I don't tell them. I don't lead them through it, and I don't give them an example. I say the textbook discusses the purpose of a hypothesis test. So they have to go back and see what the textbook says about it. The textbook does not discuss hypothesis tests in this level of detail. So I ask them, what are you trying to achieve when you do a hypothesis test? What's the central question? So these two things are somewhat related and I get kind of overlapping answers to those. What facts, data, or evidence do I need to figure this thing out? So you use evidence from a sample and you're trying to make a statement about a population. Uh, the organizing ideas, theories, or principles that influence my thinking. So that brings up the concept of the sampling distribution, uh, the standard deviation, the standard error, uh, all the things, the components that go into a test statistic that you use to make a statement uh, or to uh, uh, decide about a statement about the population. What am I taking for granted? What are the assumptions? So one of the key things in a hypothesis test is when we um, do a sample, if it's a large sample, we can use the central limit theorem to allow us to infer that the sampling distribution is normal or approximately normal. And once we can do that, we can use the z-table to figure out probabilities under the distribution. What are the connections I'm making, conclusions or exclusions I'm coming to? This is really kind of the crux of the hypothesis test. You use the test statistic to make a determination as to whether you reject the null hypothesis or uh, technically fail to reject it consequences that follow from my line of thinking. So this requires them to kind of go beyond the actual test and think about what use is going to be made of their conclusion. It also makes them think about the traditional approach of uh, rejecting or failing to reject a, a null hypothesis and maybe reporting a p-value to let the reader decide. Is the evidence strong enough to allow them to uh, reject or fail to reject? What are the relevant perspectives that I need to consider? So this, uh, again, they have to step back uh, a step further and say, okay, so now I've got a sample. I've got some evidence that allows me to reach a conclusion, but what else do I need to consider related to this whole issue? So I think this uh, it's a very nice way of uh, getting students, again, to engage with the material, to walk through the different things uh, that um, 
uh, are related to black violence.